Okay, good morning. Uh, here we are on day two. Um, we had an okay sleep last night. I haven't got any aches and pains from my fall, so obviously it wasn't that bad. Um, but yeah, so today our plan is uh, get out of here. Hope I make less of a fool of myself. Um, then go up and have a look at the slip because uh, Nathan hasn't seen that. Yeah, and then uh, then we're going to go out of here, back down the highway because you can't get through the slip and stop, have some lunch probably at National Park and then go in the Kapoor's road end and stuff so Nathan can see the river crossings. And Awesome, let's get to it. I was frightened, my mouth's gone dry. I can hate that. It's not a good way to start off. I need, I need to, to go, go fast, fast, faster than the rest. I need to go fast, fast, fast like lightning. Like lightning. Oh, yeah. Well, wow. feels not too good. Yep, that was a bit hurty. <laughs> and my bike is a bit downhilly. I'm probably not going to get hurt, and the bike's probably not going to get damaged, so I should just f***ing relax. <laughs> get up on the peg and f***ing chill the f*** up. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Confidence, confidence, up on the pegs. Okay, I think I'm gonna go down the rut. Very good, but not that bad. But this front tyre sucks. This AX41 was a piece of shit. That would have been a piece of cake with my Anarchy Wild. That's f***ing useless. Not to put a too fine a point on it. So it no, it's got nothing to do with the luggage. The luggage wasn't on the bike. That f***ing tyre has got no f***ing grip whatsoever. It is a colossal fucking piece of shite. It's not very good on the gravel. And as soon as you get into anything like this, it is a fucking waste of space. Uh, at road pressures, it's okay on the road, but that is all I can fucking say about it. Okay, here he comes, hopefully. I would have liked to have seen how he was going to handle this hill, actually. If he does it like me, or whether he's actually riding down it. He's coming. doing all right there but he just dropped it at the bottom and he's probably going too slow and didn't get over the hump here so we got back out my second half was a little bit prettier my first half was pretty ugly but i didn't fall off uh nathan got the second half of it pretty good um he did it better yesterday but uh, anyway, we both got out. Um, I'm going to blame it on that AX41. I think it's <laughs> shit. Uh, I just, it's got no grip. So as soon as you like going downhill and you feel it kind of shifting, you don't want to like keep the front brake on and then you're like kind of, it's just terrible. And then you've got a foot out and then your foot's off the peg. 
uh, at least down the steep bit I managed to keep one of my feet on the pegs and I think that made the difference like if I dropped the other one off I would have been screwed but and because I still had one foot on the peg I could as I came out of that rut I could get the other one up and then it wasn't too bad after that mm. uh, I, didn't, I didn't even stop did I I just went no, straight off no, the log and kept going I um pro tip for next time everyone make sure your fuel tap is on before you uh, go down the hill because <laughs> you might need some gas to get back up it's true um we were freaking out because of like <laughs> It wasn't running and it's going da 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 and then he's like going rrr, rrr, rrr. and I'm like oh no the battery's dead what are we going to do you can't push that it's like right in the bottom of the gully like in the creek and uh, I was just going oh god what are we going to do I suppose we would have just had to push it up here and try push starting it, it would have been pretty <laughs> ugly <laughs> anyway uh, so we're off now that's enough yakking from me um, we'll see you at the slip I've seen it before but um, cool catch you later <laughs> is so dodgy, eh? He just wants to tuck all the time. I can't want to look at my rear vision mirror but I've adjusted it all wrong I can't see I want to see where Nathan is behind me and it's all on the piss so I'm going to have to stop and fix it again I should have sat on the bike before I tightened it up less speed more haste hey guys I thought we might uh, just stop and show you the slip um, it's just here and um, that thing uh, you can't see all of it from here but I think if I recall the tracks kind of through here so yeah you've got like as I say 500 meters above that track and then up a good 500 meters or so below like that that's bottom half of the slip goes down the hill mm. anyway we're going to go out and have a have another look at it um Nathan hasn't seen it so but that's quite a good spot to sort of see the scope of it so Nathan and I went to check out the slip as you can see, it's still in very bad condition. No attempt by Doc to clear even a walking path through there. Yeah, there's still no way through for motorcyclists or quad riders or uh, anyone. So whilst Doc has no money or resources to clear a track, they do have endless resources, supposedly, to rip out people's perfectly good hearts. Hello. Here you go, I'll follow you for a bit. Oh, 
eyes are down before I get flicked in the eye with something. You right? Yeah, hang a second, I'll just um, park this somewhere where it's not gonna end up on its side. Is it better or worse there? Need a hand, is it out far enough? Get your boot against the wheel when you're doing that. Happy? Not really, not happy as such. Yeah, well, um, maybe we'll stop and have another tweak on it um, when we're in a slightly better spot. Ah, oh, it's not too bad. That's not too bad. I'm gonna need help getting it out though. Oh, fuck, that was too far. Oh. Riding like a noob. Fun though. So yeah, no sign of Nathan yet. Clearly uh, either uh, has more confidence than me or um, he's just like, oh screw him, I'll leave him for dead. <laughs> Didn't come back. I thought I heard him a couple of times. I thought he was turning around, but maybe it was just as um, the track twisted and wound and got closer and further away from the from where I was. Oh, you bastard! <laughs> Hesitated. This way, which is nice and easy. Oh, end up over here. Go down through here. Maybe he just isn't looking at his rear vision mirrors and hasn't noticed that I'm not here. chance of getting the front wheel up. <laughs> for that ditch and it still crept up on me.
actually got me realising that I missed you. And turning around and coming back slowly, beeping non-stop. <laughs> yep. Try and find you down a cliff. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Nathan's panty is a bit bent on. Uh, he's dropped it on this side a couple of times and, um, you know, what and happens. that time Campbell just rear-ended me, just really bent in the wrong way. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> I got you're getting bent out of shape about your bent out of shape <laughs> pannier. Yeah, so we've decided not to pull this pannier out. We think it's uh, pretty set where it is at the moment, and we don't want to do any more damage and potentially snap it. So we're just going to leave it how it is and hope that everything goes all right. Yeah, yeah. She's a bit bent in, but there's clearance between the the chain guard and the and the bag. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, the camera's exposing for it. Yeah, we have got clearance, so we're not going to bend it out any further. Check this bad boy out. He's like the size of a fucking dinner plate. No, I'm kidding. He's not that big, but he's big. You gonna fly away now? Now he's gonna do the opposite. I thought he'd fly away for sure. Now he's like big. Same completely static. I'm just gonna go down the rut. Fuck this AX41 is just garbage, eh? crossing coming up I think it probably is no not quite yet maybe around oh yeah just around this corner I think possibly oh it's gonna be one of those oh it's just around the corner it's just here we go through here. Way. <laughs> I don't know that that was the best way to go. I was trying to avoid that dip. Oh dear. Oh laughies. I've got an itchy nose but I can't scratch it right now. Way.
we're about 10 minutes down here. Uh, so National Park uh, petrol station is just behind me. And it's going to head down here for, I don't know, I think it's only probably 10 minutes. And then on the left-hand side um, is the beginning of a road. I'm not sure how well it's marked, but um, anyway, it's called Kapoor's Road. And that kind of goes into what I would describe as Kapoor's car park. And um, which is where I crashed my bike in that other video whilst I was waiting for Reuben to turn up and yep yeah, and um, people camp there and stuff um, in the beginning of the 40 second traverse at this end starts there the Kapoor's road end of um, 40 second traverse uh, I don't know what it says on that sign I don't think it says 40 second traverse but um, anyway whether it says National Power Crossing or something I'm not sure this road's quite lumpy bumpy you sort of can't boot it along here because um, all these really nasty potholes in it um, well I don't want to boot it along because there's a whole bunch of nasty potholes on it, but, but you can. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it all night long. has been for ages so it's getting worse and worse this road eh? Was the first time I did it was um, not that long after I think it had been um, all graded and fixed with a digger because it is pretty fucking rough now I was screaming up this um, part at about 80 k's in places uh, on the way out I don't know if it was last time or the time before, but uh, I don't know if we're doing it now. It is rough. Rough, rough, rough. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> Rough as guts. So this is an option. It's got, you know, it's got a cover and not fancy, but look somewhere to cook. Probably not be very comfortable trying to lie down there, but anyway, we'll see if the other ones, um, as I say, I must have gone past it, but I don't know how. I thought, it, I remember it being really obvious. 
but um, we'll see. This is the one. No bunks in there anymore. Oh, it doesn't matter. Sweet, so yeah, I, just, I did find it. I thought I remembered it being really easy to find. And I couldn't understand why I would have gone past it, so I obviously didn't go past it. And there it is. So we've got a couple of places to stay. Uh, that didn't look like it had any of the bunks in it anymore. I only glanced through the door, but um, yeah, last time it had a whole bunch of bunks and stretches and things, but um, maybe it did and just couldn't see them through the doorway. Oh, maybe not. not here <laughs> this is not the hard bit uh, it's quite mushy there though I wonder how many spaces are like that I imagine it's coming up I don't think it was that far like it it wasn't that close to the hut where me and Ruben stayed in but it also wasn't that far along so we'll see maybe I should just leave the camera rolling well here we go I think the gnarly bit's going to be around the corner. There we go. Well, this has been filled in, but it's either been filled in or we're going to get to it and go, oh my god, and it's going to be truck deep and track wide you never know your luck it's probably a good little tune up for Nathan because uh, that sort of wet slick clay where you can't you don't really want to touch your front brake on that stuff too much because um, there's very very little grip you could be having a lot of trouble with my words lately I hope it's not a tumour it's not a tumour it's not a tumour at all I have a headache. It might be a tumor. It's not a tumor. It's not a tumor at all. Okay. this was slick it would be quite nasty but um it's quite dry at the moment so far so far so it has been too bad whoa okay that was a slick clay bit this is nasty when this is wet this is so sketchy this this clay it's like hard so you don't dig into it um, and the wetness just makes this sort of thin layer of slick greasiness that basically makes it like riding on ice. Uh, oh shit balls, Campbell don't go too fast. Go too fast on that, it's, it's going to get away from you. It's like you get that speed up and there's no grip to fucking slow down you're in trouble maybe we've done the hard bit maybe uh yeah it doesn't look too this looks like this is starting to level off and look a bit more chilled might be coming down to the river crossing actually 
maybe yeah i think we're coming down to the river crossing first river crossing so there's no man eating holes in there anymore i'm not i sound disappointed but i'm kind of not i wonder when um i wonder when that was filled in Obviously you want to go over this way to get up. Nice one. Now this climb up here is quite steep so once you start going you need to keep going. That was pretty stupid of me. I just, I don't know what happened there. I was patting myself on the back about getting up the hill. I'm not putting this one in the video. <laughs> I'm not putting this one in the video. Uh, I need a hand to pick it up, man. One second, I go. One, two, three, go. One, two, oh. one, two, three, go. Yeah. Oh, I did. I did break some plastic. I thought I had some plastic break. Oh, I just came up here and then stopped and then, of course, fell down the low side. Well, I quickly turned and then I just put my front wheel on this wall and fell over instead. Oh, I'm to cream cracker now. Steep, yeah. Not as rutted as it normally is. It's been fixed. Same with all of the stuff where I was like going, I was going, oh, you know, there's a big drop and a big hole, all that stuff's gone. Um, but you can see those long sections of cl hard clay, eh? If they've got water on them, I've come off on my WR426, I was going uphill, up that, yeah. at pace, and I lost it and got spat off and slid about 30 metres uphill. Yeah. That's how slippery it is. Uh, just want to hang on to that a little bit for me once I get on. I'm going to sling my leg in three. Might have been
Oh, this is the big decline, by the way. So, yeah, you'll see it when you get around the corner. How you going? Yeah, yeah. It's just uh, one port behind us. What's that? Um, the port's behind us, probably a couple of minutes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but uh, but uh, mind you, there's a big clearing just here, right? Yeah. Yeah, we can just stop at the bottom of this. Yeah. Yep. Cool, man. Thanks. So there's a whole lot of quads coming, but we can probably go down here. Follow me. So this is the bigger river crossing. It's pretty big. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not that deep though. Uh, I'm not quite in the right place here to put my side stand down. Uh, I might just lean it against that rock face. flowing quite fast. I think it does have a bit more water in it than normal. That'll go above my boat in a couple of feet there. Yeah. And a bit deeper still. You're not feeling like doing it? Well, I'll do it. You've got to, you, yeah, you might want to walk your bike across. So, yeah, you want to come in here and then kind of aim for there, but see just here, yeah. I see I think there's a big rock just there. Yeah. Sure, if I just walk in, fuck it, I'm gonna get my boots wet. Yeah. So you need to be the other side of that. Kind of through here and there. And I think just here somewhere is a hole. Yeah. Now my boots are full of water. Yeah. So we got across there, it wasn't that hard really. I don't think that's the deepest I've done it on the Africa Twin and it's like not that hard but the consequences of messing it up are reasonably high because I'm not that mechanical trying to uh, clear the plugs out of the Africa Twin we might be here a long time. Anyway, uh, yeah, it'd be nice to just hang by this river. It's pretty nice here. Um, I made a bloody meal of that. Yeah. I could see the line when we were talking about it and then as soon as I got on the bike I was like what where's everything gone? I couldn't see where I was supposed to go. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. It looked way different to what I thought it was. So different. Yeah. Alright, cool man, let's make tracks. Go and finish this and then go back.
So it's getting late. I think it's seven o'clock now. Might even be after seven. Starting to lose light. So we're going to rock back. But we there we are. We rode as far as the slip. Um, we used to have the sign here, but it's all just you can see. Uh, move to the side, Nathan. Yes, yeah, so you see that's all been cut down, but um, that's pretty steep over there. You can see the road ends, and then there's just a big, huge bank with a bunch of trees on it. That is the slip. Anyway, we're going to go back um, across the river, hopefully, and head on back uh, and start one of the huts. Cool, yeah, so we're a bit tired. Uh, Nathan's getting a bit exhausted. It's getting a bit late. Um, it's after seven. It's like quarter past seven now. Um, we're in a valley. So it's going to get dark soon. So instead of trying to ride out, we thought we might just stay by this pretty stream. And we're just going to, like, put the fly up in there and chill out. And I won't feel bad about bringing all my camping gear and not using any of it <laughs> but um it's real yeah it's pretty here and stuff it'll be real nice whoo yeah big day big day oh dear this little culprit in a pannier bag that's been crashed on a bunch of times and here's a very sad nathan uh he's gonna have to clean his bags and that off uh in the grass uh, yeah, anyway. Oh, so yeah, we got our camp set up now. It's a fly and sleeping bags and stuff under there. Look, cool. It's been a pretty fine day, so we don't think it's going to rain. Um, and even if it does, I think we'll be all right under that. Might have to, might have to snuggle a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> That's us. We'll see you tomorrow for day three or... Tune in for day three <laughs> when I cut it together, which, as you know, <laughs> could be a little while away. Anyway, uh, we're absolutely knackered, yep. and uh, we're going to make some dinner and call it a day. See you, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Biking with Campbell. Bye. Okay. We'll see you later. You can go now. Thanks for coming. See you all later. Come back again. You all here? Cheers.